All right, everybody, we are back, and we have now finished. Uh, for, for those of you watching us on YouTube, if you don't know, this is a live stream, and I just cut it up into 10 videos because we do 10 trailer reactions. So make sure to go see us live on Twitch. But um, we are halfway done now with the live stream. Well, we've done the video games. Now we're moving on to movies and series. Have you seen this show? This next one is a show. I actually have. Well, I think I've watched two seasons of it. I didn't even know there was a fourth uh, one coming up. So, yeah. So, so yeah. this show obviously completely for adults. Do not let your kids watch this. It's gory. It's it's like I would describe it as like Game of Thrones, but it leans a little bit more into the ridiculousness. Like Game of Thrones is a very straight faced. This is kind of a kind of a, a ridiculous show if that makes sense i'm not talking that it's funny i just mean like they definitely get they know what they are and they embrace that um i i've liked it have you liked it so far oh uh, it's okay and stuff like that i mean there's some i mean i don't know just like you said it's, it's really it's really for adults don't let your kids see this it's really yeah yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah it is it's pretty. In it's a pretty interesting, but I didn't. I I watched the first two two seasons, and I probably need. I might want to catch up on it. I don't know. You know, yeah. we'll, we'll see. Yeah. So, um, Ellie and I, my wife and I, have watched this, and Ellie really likes it. And how do I describe this? Ellie is not into things that are for adults, <laughs> like like as far as things with sex, nudity, um, drugs. Swearing is okay, but when it gets into like gore and combat of people getting, you know, ripped apart or mm -hmm. whatever in, in realistic ways, um, she's not into that. But she likes the show enough. The quality of the show, she said, like I do not like that kind of stuff. But even, but I like the show so much that I will watch. I want to watch this. So just to let you know about what at least my wife thinks of the quality of the show. But let's check it out. It's we are watching. Yeah, yeah, it's well, it's and well the made, and I think they have some good, good writers and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, it's, it's the a good, good. It's well made. I can, I can tell yeah. you that. And the acting—that's the, is the acting, especially yeah, with the yeah. main, mm -hmm. the main um, protagonist, our, um, our antagonist. Excuse me. Here we go, though. Let's check it out. We are watching the trailer for the action pack needs you. You can support Mike's After Action Reviews on our Patreon for as little as $3 a month. Every quarter, once we've made at least $200, we're going to be giving away 10% of our earnings from Patreon in a giveaway over on our Twitch, so go check that out as well. You can find all of the links for everything in the description and in the pinned comment down below. Do your part. Support the pack. The Action Pack. The Boys. Season 4 official teaser trailer. Okay, so the coming at us from Prime Video, we are going to like the video. The world is on the brink. Victoria Newman is closer than ever to the Oval Office and under the music, uh, sorry, the muscly thumb of Homelander who is consolidating his power. Butcher, Butcher with only months to live, has lost Becca's son as well as his job as The Boys' leader. The rest of the team are fed up with his lies. With the stakes higher than ever, they have to find a way to work together and save the world before it's too late. All right. Oh, yeah, by the way, Carl Urban. Okay, everybody knows him. You know, Carl Urban, pretty big actor. Jack Quaid. Okay, that's Dennis Quaid's son is the co-star. Really? Wow. Yeah. And you know who it is, right? You know who it is as soon as I say it, right? Yep. Yeah, he's the, yeah, he's, yeah. He's, yeah. yeah. Um, so, like we said, totally for adults. Don't let your kids watch this. Uh, high quality show, but just don't let your kids watch it. Let's just put it that way. Uh, it definitely gets, so this is about superheroes. It gets into the depravity that, it, you know what, it kind of feels like Rome. Like when you, once a bunch, once these normal people get a bunch of power, they start to go a little crazy as far as, um, sex, drugs, doing whatever they want because the government will cover it up for them because they're the powerful. So uh, it gets into that, and that is subject matter that is for adults, and if you're an adult, I would say that you can definitely enjoy the show. Just be prepared for... Be prepared to get smacked in the face with the hammer of real life. Let's put it that way. Um, otherwise, we've got a 1 minute 49 second trailer. Are you ready? 
I'm ready. <sighs> I love my awesome Support the Troops Stormtrooper mug. Do you know where you can get a mug just like this one, but different? Bottega Crua. Bottega Crua is an Italian born and raised artisan trained at the Academy of Fine Arts in Venice, Italy. Since 2010, Bottega Crua has offered unique handmade and hand-painted ceramics, pottery, and other artistic products. You can find these products at her Etsy store by following the link down below. She also takes custom orders, but they may take longer to ship because she has to make them after you order them. So go check out Bottega Crua to get yourself an awesome mug just like this one or the ones you've been seeing behind me as this ad has been going on. Remember guys, supporting our partners is supporting the pack, the action pack. Here we go. Rome. Greece. Okay. All democracies fail. See, did you see what she said? Rome. Which is what I just said. It's like yes. Rome. Okay, sorry, I'm just I'm just messing around. Okay, here we go. <laughs> because people are fucking stupid. Okay. But if you crush the masses, who builds your monuments? Who tongues your taint? Uh, the people will tear it apart themselves. Yeah. You just gotta nudge them a little. So, one thing that I do like, and I you can just kind of see it here, one thing that I do like about this, and it's it's kind of something that's happening in America, recent happened in America recently, but it happens everywhere. There's always when you know, you you reach points in history where you get debate and people on two sides of an issue. Um some it doesn't get political as far as modern day politics. Okay? So I do appreciate that. I really like that. But I also like that in the background, like on the news reports, they have little scenes where you'll see people and they'll talk about the political um, effects of things happening in this world, not 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 real life politics. But then it shows how people basically can be manipulated, like crowds get manipulated by um, lies and charismatic people. Um, Homeland, mm -hmm. I mean, spoiler alert, you know, I mean, the series, it's the fourth season. Homelander is the biggest... I mean, he kills people. He's a murderer. He's a sociopath. Yeah. It's psycho, psychotic killer. Um, I believe that he's sympathetic in some ways because he's actually trying to do what's right, but he gets very frustrated and he doesn't have the maturity to deal with certain things and and, and he's also super powered. So when he throws a fit, he just kills somebody. Anyway, um, but my point is, is that, but then he flies down into the crowds and puts on a smile and the crowds love him. So that's kind of very similar to politicians who are basically mm -hmm. evil and they don't care about you at all, but then they're just able to manipulate you. Um, and it gets into that, which I really appreciate. Um, and that, that has nothing to do with either right, left, middle, center, anything as far as my political beliefs. It's just, it's very true that no matter what political affiliation you have, you could watch the show and go and say to yourself, Oh, well, that's just like this political figure who I mm. believe is bad and they manipulate people. Or, you know, on the other side of the aisle, whatever you believe, then you can say it, the same thing about another person, you know. So that's my idea is I do like how they how they avoid politics. But at the same time, they're talking about politics. This show is what subtlety in media looks like or well, maybe not subtlety, but at least. What do you call it when um, when, uh, when you have things that stand in for other things, metaphors, things like that? This is basically yeah. yeah, yeah. This is how you talk about politics in a show. Is you don't talk about politics, real politics. You talk about the legislation uh, uh, related to superhero rights. You see what I'm saying? Like it's something so ridiculous, yeah. but at the same time, we can see the parallels to our own society. And it's not calling anybody out for being evil. I'm getting sick and tired of that in modern politics. 
Anyway, here we go. Uh, let's move forward. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Then you get to swoop in. Yeah. And be the one saving it. Like Caesar. Like Caesar. Oh wow. Oh. Oh hell. Who wants their balls crack? <coughs> <coughs> Your team. What's your code name again? The boys. Oof. Who came up with that shit? <laughs> I, I like. Sorry, That's I like. That's pretty the, normal. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say this happens in every season. Every single season, Homelander gets covered in blood like this. Every single, every single trailer, every single season that they have the tra the trailer start coming out for the show. Homeland, they show Homelander like covered in blood. That is so normal for the show, just like you said, because he's a psychopathic yeah. killer, and he and he can kill people. The biggest thing is that he can kill people in public, and he, people don't care because the government basically comes out and lies lies about how, why it happened or what happened or any anything. Right, right. So, what are your thoughts? What do you think of the trailer or the show? It looks like it's going to continue on with. Um, I, I need to watch season three. Um, continue on with the same themes and stuff like that. Uh, Carl Urban, I think, is a really good actor. I don't know if he's really got like a. He was in the Star Trek. I love yes, him he, as, as Bones Man and Star Trek. Yeah. And on this one, I mean, he plays a whole. He plays a different character, but man, he he plays it well. I mean, all I think they have a they have a lot of good actors in this. Yeah. Um, but it, it, I mean, like okay, good writing, uh, great scenes, um, great actors. I mean, it's 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 a neat show. Now it is like you said, it's it's it is for adults. It's not for kids. Don't let your kids watch this. Some of you adults yeah. probably shouldn't watch it either. But well, just my opinion. But um, yeah, he that that guy that plays. Um, Homelander, man, they've written it so well that it makes you want to hate him even more as you're watching it. You right. know, you know, in any show, if you frustrate people, if uh -huh. you frustrate them with the hey, this is the right thing to do, and they do the, exactly the opposite, it keeps people watching that show. If it, if it was normal, nobody'd watch it. But it's it's just people with their agendas and stuff like that, and what they want to do and the power game and everything like that. And you, you're looking on the, on the outside and you're like, Oh, why would they do that? You know? So that's what right. makes it a good, a good show that people want to watch and stuff. Yeah, so. I totally agree. I think that this is, I think it's great. I, I think, um, so there's also Gen V. Gen V is about, uh, is an offshoot show that I've also watched. It's, it's only got one season mm -hmm. right now. And I can mm -hmm. tell you that it's much more toned down. It's about college kids that are going to a school for superheroes. And mm -hmm. it's very well made. It's toned down as far as the violence. Um, I'm trying to think if there's, like, violence, nudity, not so much. Um, uh, but it is still for adults, like, still totally for adults. It's just toned down a little bit more. And that was pretty good, too. So that so they're, they're kind of... And, and, and that one they set up for a second season as well. So there's that, too. Um, what's I will tell you this. What's interesting about this, and I'll just go into this, and then, we'll, and then we'll, we'll go into the comment section, is what's interesting about this is that this is based off of a comic book, and the comic book is pretty well known for being, like, a poorly written comic book. Like, the, the comic book for this... Is basic, was basically written by a guy who hates superheroes, and he, and his least favorite superhero was Captain America. He hates Captain America the most. So in season three, you get a you get a guy who kind of represents this world's Captain America, and you see him as being this in the comic books. You see him as being this very terrible, terrible person, who like hurts kids and women, and he does all this bad stuff. Okay, and then in in the show. Um, they actually make him a sympathetic character, probably the the most likable superhero character that we've seen so far. Um, 
But yeah, so like the show, the comic book is basically accepted as being like it wasn't the best written. It's very over the top with the hatred of superheroes. If you're a superhero fan, you probably wouldn't like the comic book um, so much. But the show then took the the idea of the comic of that the comic book had as being like basically realistic superheroes who are corrupt and used it to make a much better show than the comic book was. We'll put it that way. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, yeah, I know, I know that you're not so much into reading, reading superhero comic books and stuff, but, um, that's, that's like, back in the day, I, did, back in the day I watched every comic books, but I was a kid, so, yeah. but I like yeah. them. Yeah. But let's, uh, let's check out the comments section, see what other people have to say. Okay, Anthony Starr, that's that, or Anthony Starr, that is Homelander, uh, seriously deserves an Emmy for his portrayal as Homelander. Every scene he's in is constantly, you're constantly in fear, he'll snap. Then the next second, he's literally clamoring for milk, clamoring for milk like a baby. Just an amazing portrayal of a truly conflicted slash twisted character. Yeah, I, I think it's one of those things where you you do hate Homelander, but at the same time, for me anyway, for me is that um, I hate Homelander because of the way that he is. But at the same time, I look at what he's been through and the way the reason that his character is the way he is, and I go, like, why don't you like you could. I, I feel bad for you. You could make some certain choices and get what you want because basically what Homelander wants is to be the good guy and he wants people to admire him. So, so it, like they're saying, every scene, you'll get this situation where you're in scenes with him and you're like, oh, he's about to kill this person in a brutal way or something and, and you're really scared and then it doesn't happen and sometimes he even does a good thing, especially in season three. So if you haven't seen season three, you got to see season three. Sometimes... He does a good, good stuff, and you go, "Wow, oh, okay, okay, I like that." You, you see, what, you see what I'm saying? And then that, and then it's like a cycle. It's like a cycle of feeling sorry for and hating and want, uh, hating Homelander, and then adding in a little bit of like wanting him to do the good thing and become the good guy. But it doesn't, it, 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 it doesn't ever fully commit to either of those things. So you're in a cycle all the time. That's <laughs> great. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, uh, let me see. Love how the home how the Homelander gave the civilians a chance to solve their dispute themselves before stepping in. He is a true role model. Oh yeah, that's yeah, right here where you see them, you see them rioting, and he's standing there, and he's like, ah, let them sort it out for themselves. <laughs> um, the series is everything that the MCU isn't: intense and visceral action that doesn't look like it was generated in a video game, complex, truly frightening villains with focus focused character development that doesn't pander to a market segment and underlining meaning and dark parallels to the real world. Okay, I appreciate that. I, I agree with that. That's awesome. Yeah, I think that The Boys is going to fill the void for anybody who wants something superhero related that is not being satisfied by the MCU, which I would say is most people who want something superhero related. Um, but adults... Please, yes, adults, adult. listen. Listen to us when we say adults. Otherwise, though, um, any other thoughts before uh, before we move on to the next one? No, I think we covered it all. All right, let's move forward then on to the next one. Here we go. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch and join the Discord where you can voice chat with me while a live stream and you won't be recorded or anything on YouTube and Twitch. So that's pretty cool. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. If you like to read, you can see my after-action reports on my blog. And if you are interested, you can get some merch from my Spring Store. The links for everything are in the description below.